This is a short film to show you how to use copy decks in making polyhedra. When you start with copy decks, first you must move up your sleeves so that you don't have any materials like t-shirts in where they can get uh, copy decks on them because it does not come off clothing very well. I found when working in schools with uh, primary children, it is sometimes a good idea to get them to put on uh, overalls from the art work they do. So having rolled up my sleeves, the next thing I do is open the copy deck and I don't pour it out, I put a perhaps two brush loads out onto a, a plastic surface like this. Then just put the top on. But when I'm working with children, I'm the one who keeps hold of the copy decks and don't allow them to uh, have it and pour it out or you get a lot of copy decks wasted. So to make a polyhedron, I always start with just two of the shapes. Uh, here I have two squares. I take one square, just one of them, and dip it one edge into the copy decks, making sure that it's covered, and then push the two together and hold it. When I push the two together, after a little time, maybe a minute or so, then it has made a hinge that will move backwards and forwards. So I'm starting to make a corner. If I wanted then to make this particular corner with two squares and a triangle, I would put a triangle in. If I want to make a cube, I will put a third square in. So to make a cube, I now need to glue two corners and I put two edges like that and hold it down and push the two together and wait. It is a thing of patience making a polyhedron. It is now started to form. Those pieces there are fine. As it dries, I will be able to rub it off with my finger. So if we take a model that we have already made, and this is made from four isosceles triangles, so it's for, called a tetrahedron. I can put my finger in and gently pull it apart. And that will show me the net of this particular polyhedron. But before gluing it back together, I will just need to remove the little pieces of old glue, which pulls away with your fingers and it's now ready to be glued up again with new glue. And you can always just, once the glue is dried, move it away. And now you will be able, I hope, to make some of the polyhedra that we have in the two ATM pamphlets.